so today we are gonna do the third video which will be on uh, learning sum of one DRA so we'll be solving this problem and let's see okay so it's 1480 running sum of one DRA so what do they want us to do so basically we want to return the running sum of nums which means uh, so this is the input which is one two three four what they want is this output and how we get that so we want to print the first element then we want to add first plus second and store it in the second place then the sum of that will be three then we want to store that three plus three and then this and then this so basically just storing the sum and then putting it here so let's do this if you could try to solve it by your own but if you cannot then see my solution okay so we'll copy the input you know how i do it so just comment it down and copy the output so we know what we want to achieve okay and so i'll write so so basically what do we want to do so basically we want output right so we'll create an array so what do i want so i will create a output array right to and uh, return this at the end yeah okay but uh, what do i want so i'll run a run a loop right to run that loop i will try to store the value for that i'll create a variable so i'll create a variable store so what is this store this store is just a variable store where we'll try to which can be zero in the beginning and we'll try to store the value like the addition of you know what we want to do here basically one plus three so this addition will store in this will store in this variable store and what we'll do third step will would be running a for loop so run a for loop over what so we want to run it over this nums the input which you get the input array right and what so what you want to do is every time we want we get the value i this value i nums of i this nums of i we want to um, so five we want to store it um, we want to store it in sum right the sum uh, not we want to store it in uh, store basically same thing so we want to store it in the store here which will be sum right so we want to store it here and after storing that we will push it in the output array right in the output output array right easy and what so after this and just return return the array what array output it's really easy this one so okay let's try to do it what we have written what we want so first thing first we want the output array which is uh, output array okay which is an empty array now we want a store variable right what does the store do we will tell you zero what does it does so stores gonna store the variable so what we gonna do we gonna run a for loop so for variable i equals zero i should be less than nums dot length i plus plus so for i equals zero because we want to start it from zero which is the first element we want to capture should be less than nums dot length so what is length one two three one two three four so nums dot length will be four we want it i should be less than nums dot length so we'll be less than four right so zero one two three so we will capture all these elements so we want to load through it and every time we want to increase it by one so that's why i plus plus right just how for loop works what you what i want to do is so we write store here right and i want to write store equals to store plus store is zero in the beginning store equals to store plus nums the array which have the i element at that time so in the beginning it will be zero so how it's gonna work is okay i'll show you in a bit so we'll write this and then what we're gonna do just after that we'll use the push method of array output dot push what we want to push the variable the value which we store in the store variable right so output dot push store 
after this for loop is completed all the values are being pushed into this output which is the array we just want to return this array so we'll just return this and it's gonna work so i'll tell you how it's gonna work so you know the input so we have the input one two three four right so when i equals one uh, when i equals zero at num set zero we have one right so store is zero by default zero plus one will be one so what we are doing is output dot push one so here we are getting output equals to zero at the beginning and then it hits one then when we run the for loop i plus plus i equals one so when i equals one num set one what is num set one num set one is two right so num set one is two but store already has one in it right here store already has one so one plus two is what three right so what we're gonna do output dot push store what the store has in it three so three as on it goes on till we receive all these numbers output and we just return it so i will run the code see if it works yeah it works we got a runtime of 53 yes on submit really good fast solution and with good memory usage as well hope you like my solution and come to visit my channel for more easy solutions like this thank you and make sure to subscribe my channel as well